Let's take a look at the new WebOS experience. Hi, welcome to Zigadjo Review. LG's smart TV platform is WebOS. This has gone through some iterations in the last few years. The most recent update made huge changes to the way WebOS performed and how much of the screen it took. Well, they have finally done a new update to WebOS that improves a little bit on the changes that they made before. Now, it's not back to what it used to be, which was my favorite form of smart TV platform. It just was a row at the very bottom of the screen and that's it. But the improvements that they've made are much better than improvements, improvements they made before. Some of the things that they've done here is group apps depending on experiences, which is a good idea because it kind of saves you the time of having to go across this whole row of apps that we have here. As you can see, it's quite a lot of... If we go to home office, the idea is that you can connect your laptop to this TV to use it as a secondary screen or as your main screen, depending on what you want. I have no uses, so I can tell you what the experience is like, but here's a choice if you want it. Here we have the next group, which is games, and this is for cloud gaming. And this is interesting because it gives you all the different services. GeForce Now here, and every time you click on the different services, it's going to change the games that are available here, depending on the service. And and some of the games that are available on the service, obviously that's not every single game. Amazon Luna, if you click on that, that's Amazon's cloud gaming service. Utomic or Udomic, I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. So I've never heard of it until now. Same thing. Then we have Black Nut cloud gaming again something i've never heard of and then bosteroid cloud gaming and i have heard of that one before you get the idea right here is going to show what i have plugged into the tv that is a console and in this case is my xbox and then right here you can go straight into the services that you want and then here we have other mobile games so we have tetris wheel of fortune games like that and then obviously it's telling me that i don't have a connected bluetooth controller I have a different video where I show you how to do that, which I'm going to link in the description section. Let's go into the music window. In the music window, of course, it's going to give you all different music, YouTube, Spotify, and LG Mood. LG Mood is LG's music service. Right here, you can connect your phone or a storage device onto your USB port. But down here, you have everything that they offer music. So you have YouTube, Spotify, Pandora, Apple Music, Amazon Music, Sirius XM, Napster, if I'm not mistaken, and Tidal. The Home Hub, this is where you control your smart home and kind of get an idea of everything that's connected to your TV in one place. Now here under sports, it's pretty self-explanatory. It shows you the teams that you are following. These are the teams that I am following. And oh look, I'm missing one team. Let's look it up there. That's the team I was missing. So now I have all the teams that I follow here. And this is of course going to tell me when a match is coming. Right here obviously it's going to give you the schedule of games and where to watch his games and things like that. The only thing with this is that it will give you the alert when the game is about to start, but it will also give you the result of the game once the game is over. So it could ruin what the final score was. So keep that in mind. I've had the games ruined for me a few times. Learn various tips. So here you will go to learn more about your TV and, you know, little tutorials about what the TV does. And then finally, we have your card list. So you can change the order of this here. If you want to have your games first and music first, and you want to have work on the large screen all the way to the end. Now, the second row is where all your apps are. And this is where you will control 
every single streaming service that you have. And here at the very end, you can press that pen to edit. The other thing that you can do is hold the middle wheel here. And if you hold it, it's going to take you to a window in order to edit your order of the apps. So you have those two choices. Of course, holding the wheel is a lot faster. Now down here, we have what's trending now. For some reason, it has my Xbox game console, but we have different TV shows that, of course, once you click on it, it'll take you to whatever service is connected to and you can also see the service there in the corner. LG Channels is the free TV service. And so here you will go and watch like Antenna TV for free thanks to LG. Shopping here, as you can see, you can purchase stuff. I don't know why anybody will do that, but you have the choice. Now we have Spice Up Your Life. Spice, <laughs> spice Up Your Life. Here you can put different art pieces on your TV. If you're the type of person who have, wants to have their TV on running all day with different images, if you want to work out, it gives you options. As you can see, there's this drive for free, which means you most likely will have to pay for exercises. Baby Shark World for kids. Why would you want to subject yourself to that? Do karaoke if you want to do that. More exercise. ABC Mouse. Uh, I don't, it's like a kid's thing, right? And then inside timer no clue what that is but here you can spice up your life with those things now streaming here we have older things that are streaming in each individual app so fandango at home apple tv is going to switch disney plus and so on it looks like it does a lot of services i don't know why you will come all the way down here to look for these things when the app that you want are on the top earthy or was earthy let's see i don't know when earthy was actually and so we have here all the movies celebrating earthy <laughs> They really like doing this theme stuff, don't they? New releases for movies. So Voodoo is here, looks like. Yep. So it looks like you get content from Voodoo and Apple TV on your new releases. Popular cinema. Again, movies that are available for you to rent or watch for free, hopefully. And if you want to go to the top, you go to the top. Now, as you can see, it doesn't feel like an endless scrolling to get all the way to the bottom of the screen. Of course, there is still a lot of scrolling to get to the bottom, but at least they give you the choice of customizing the way you want those rows to be to edit this. So let's try editing. If you want to move, let's say, Spice Up Your Life to the top, you can do that. Let's try it. So let's, we'll go here and we'll move now streaming. On top of shopping, we'll do the new releases. On top of LG, we'll do this. I don't really care about spicing up my life either, so I'm going to move it all the way down. And I'm going to close it and let's take a look at how this changed. So we have trending now. It looks like that never changes. Like it looks like this is always going to be there. Then we have the new releases, now streaming, popular cinema, exactly like I want my TV to look, which is something that not many smart TV platforms do. And if the idea is that you're going to be using this smart platform, that they will allow you to use it in the most convenient way for you this is the first time that i've seen that let's go up here on the little bell you get you get different notifications it's going to open a little window with messages it's going to let you know what apps need update if there's any things that are alerting you for so here's a game alert for the copa libertadores that i'm interested in watching here is your search tool if you're looking for a movie or tv show so let's say that i want to watch dune we're seeing here i'm gonna click dune and it should give me all the places where i can watch the movie so here's where you will click for your lg account if you have an account connected to your tv if you want to go to the app store you will have to go this is the only way i figure out how to do it or go all the way down here the reason why it's down here is because i moved it down here okay apps if you go into apps, it's going to bring me to the store where all the apps for the TV are available. And up here, of course, they are broken down in categories. For your settings, for your settings, you can go here to the cogwheel on the left hand side and it's going to open your settings, which has also changed. Or you can just go on the remote and press the settings button to do that these settings have changed a lot this didn't look like this before and i will say it's 
good app here is going to have your recently used menu so if a menu that is in here to access it quicker is going to be here but here if i click here i wish that it would take me directly to the advanced settings i have to click again to go into my advanced settings in order to go into my picture settings to make any changes that i want to make which is a little too many clicks to me, the easiest way to get to the mains, to the advanced settings as they're calling it now, is holding the settings button and just having it open your settings completely. Now, why I think these quick settings are a lot better than before is because instead of having a small row of just icons on the side like you used to have, now you have something that actually gives you an explanation of what it is that you're looking at and you don't have to guess. So if you want to do multi-view, you click here on multi-view, and this is going to allow you to have two things at once so you can go side by side picture in picture or dual pc monitor so in this case i'm going to stay side by side i'm going to launch it and it's going to ask me uh, what it is that i want to see so in this case i can use my hdmi one which is my xbox and i'm going to here i'm going to pick youtube can i keep youtube oh yes i can oh they didn't use to... nope it's gonna change now they terminated it because of unsupported content Oh, see, now they won't let me go into the regular menu because, okay, so we're going to launch it again. I'm going to see what we can do. So, okay, so here are the combinations. So you have regular live TV, so regular antenna TV and browsing the internet. You can do regular antenna TV and YouTube. You can do an HDMI port and browse online. You can do an HDMI port and YouTube. But why is it not letting me do the HDMI port and YouTube then? Because I'm gonna play a game let's see if it does this yeah so there's my fire tv cube on the left and so here if i'm on youtube can i pick what i'm gonna watch oh can i pick it oh look at that oh look at this guy let's watch this guy's this video Oh, look at that. That's me on TV. How cool is that? Multiview has improved. It is much easier to use. It looks like it supports more things than it did before, but it still does not support gaming. And so if you want to play video games or doing something else like watching YouTube, that is something that it still does not support. Now, I tested to see if I removed it from the game optimizer option, and that didn't work either. As you saw on the video, it gave me the same message saying, Saying that the current content isn't supported. So that means that right now this does not work for gaming at all. And it's a shame because it will be great to be able to multitask while you play games. As of right now, it is not supported. Hopefully LG will support it at some point. Here you can go to the top to the settings. Now here's privacy and terms when you can change the way this TV is going to advertise to you. So here where it says do not sell my information, if you have it green, it means that this TV won't gather information from your viewing habits in order to sell it to third parties. As you can see, I don't have everything clicked. I don't use the voice feature on the TV. I always use the remote because everything else I'm not going to agree with. Don't be afraid of doing something like this on your TV. You don't have to agree to everything that they show you on the TV. TV for you to be able to use the TV. If you want to reduce the amount of ads that you see on this platform, here's how you do that. You go under the general settings, you go under system, under system, you go on to additional settings, under additional settings, and there's a lot of clicking. You go under advertisement, and under advertisement, you can click the limit ad tracking. As you can see here, it isn't going to gather information on what you're watching, so it's going to limit the type of ad ads that you are going to get. If you're just learning about this and it's the first time you're clicking on it, you can turn it on. On is green, means that it's on. You click reset ad ID and it's going to delete everything that is gathered on you before and it's going to assign you a brand new ad ID and that should limit the amount of ads that you get up here. They added a power on chime and power off chime that turns on by default. And this is something that I noticed. Here's how to turn it off if you want to. You go into general, you go into 
accessibility. Under accessibility, you go TV power sound. This, if it's green, make it gray and it's going to get rid of that little chime. The other thing is if you want to have the TV turn on on the last input that you were using instead of going into the LG home screen, you go under system, you go under additional settings, under home settings, under power on screen. You can pick if you want it to go home or the, the last input that you use. So a lot of the settings that you're going to need are going to be under general and under system. All I care, one last thing. If you have issues with your screen at any point, you have some ghosting, you have some image retention or anything yet, like that, you can go under the care pictures option and you can turn that on. You can go under the device self-care. It's going to let you know what if a TV is good or not. All the panel care, you can do the pixel cleaning right here started. This usually works every time you turn off the TV, whichever way, but if you want to run it at any point, this is where you will do it. Now, I'm still not happy with how many clicks the main menu requires. You still have to click a lot. They've made the menu smaller in a way when it pops up, but you have to click so much in it in order to get to where you need to get in order to find what you need to find. That still makes it hard to use. I still prefer that old menu that they had or that you, even though it looked like a laundry list of stuff, at least you had everything right there in front of you. So you didn't have to click endlessly to find what you were looking for. I hope that with the next iteration of their operating system or their platform, whatever you want to call it, that they change the menu to make it easier to use and to have less clicks. So even though I'm not happy with the way LG changed their smart TV platform, this new iteration, this new update fixes some of the issues that I had with LG WebOS. It makes it a little easier to use. It makes it more convenient. It allows the user to tailor the experience to what they want, giving the user an incentive to want to continue using this smart TV platform. Unlike, let's say, SmartCast, which a lot of people has commented of how bad it's gotten, even with the newest update. If I have to give it a rating, I will, I will say this is a good update. This continue to be the best smart TV platform out there. What do you think about the new WebOS experience? Have you gotten the update yet? Let me know in the comment section. That is it for me. Go ahead and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Go ahead and hit that bell so you can be alerted every time we have new videos. Thank you very much for watching.